Hi Cancer, this is your weekly day by day tarot cards reading by Emma for the week beginning 4th of July 2022. Alright, we'll start immediately with Monday, the 4th of July. For your Cancer, 8 of Cups. Tuesday, the Devil. Wednesday, 3 of Wands. Queen of Wands, Thursday. Strength, Friday. Ace of Pentacles, Saturday. And the Tower, Sunday. Nine of Wands, your influencing energy. Eight of Cups, Monday with Page of Pentacles. The Devil, Tuesday with Knight of Cups. Three of Wands with Seven of Pentacles. Queen of Wands Thursday with Four of Pentacles. Strength Friday with Five of Cups. Ace of Pentacles Saturday with Six of Swords and the Tower with Eight of Swords Sunday. The Hierophant. Believing in, okay, being faithful, knowing it will happen, trusting yourself, trusting your destiny, trusting your work, yourself. You see what I'm saying? Because there is sort of hard work that stands behind this belief, behind this faith, okay? If I complete this, if I do this, if I manage somehow to prove myself here, to round it up, okay, I will then manifest in a different way. I will have some results. I will have some rewards. You see what I'm saying? Your future ideas, goals, something, okay, is dependent on that what you are doing, okay? What you were doing, in fact, last week, this is your influencing energy. You can move on with something else as soon as you finish that what you are uh, busy with. This is something compulsory, must, you have to do it, and then you will have your results, you will have your rewards, or you can start something new in that sense. Everything depends on that what you do to complete it, to finish it, and from there. In that sense, energies from um, last week. Your Monday with Eight of Cups and a Page of Pentacles. I love Page of Pentacles. It's beautiful energy, very youthful, uh, very dedicated to that goal. Something new is on your mind, okay? Definitely from earlier on. This is very faithful. This is believer. You believed in yourself, which will happen after you complete this difficult task or so. Now you are on Monday, leaving behind. You completed it, perhaps. You are leaving behind. I don't know, some circumstances, some situations, people, relationships, something. It doesn't serve any purpose for you anymore. You were already after something else. And you were even from earlier on. Okay, Cancer, you were after it. You know exactly what you were after. You are studying. You are learning. You were ready to do something different. To go in a different direction altogether. Practically, you, you see what I'm saying? This is practical job you do. Completely different than that what you used to do uh, till now. In that sense, your Monday Devils energy on Tuesday with the Knight of Cups. Look, these two um, can talk about um, abusing alcohol. Okay, <laughs> this Knight of Cups is um, jolly energy. Okay, enjoying good times, um, good drinks, fun times with people, party times as well, okay? This Knight of Cups, then as I said, paired with the devil might mean that you are going overboard with it. Celebrating, but a bit too much this time, okay? It's too much of alcohol, too much of celebration. Perhaps thinking and moving towards something which is supposed to be happier, being very optimistic, being very romantic about what is gonna happen now for you, where you are heading from now, on. You see what I'm saying? Obviously, you were after something different, okay? You completed something tough, hey, eh, here, moving uh, uh, towards something very practical, okay? This is your new employment, your new job, new career, new school. You are changing your school. Now, that is another one. This is your higher education, perhaps. 
could be taken in that way as well. And this Knight of Cups is a very romantic, very optimistic about what future gonna bring for you. you. You see what I'm saying? With this new education, with this new job, with this new career or something. Again, being that is paired with devil, we or again talking, going overboard with optimism, with hopes or something like that. The devil's energy always manipulative, uh, always tricky, um, a bit lying, you know, lying to yourself or uh, going overboard, bragging. I am going to now make something grandiose out of this beginning. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Could also mean something like that. You brag there. But anyway, nothing wrong. You've got this happy energy, happy go lucky, enjoy it, uh, celebrate it. In that sense, your Tuesday. Look, three of wands and seven of pentacles, both of these people are waiting for the results, okay? You've done something, you completed something, you are waiting for the results, something's supposed to pay off now, okay? With both of these, okay? This is your education, your knowledge, your investment, and everything is done there, okay? Now waiting to you know, receive some rewards, waiting for money, um, waiting for some sort of accomplishment, further accomplishment, further development, further growth, waiting for it, both of these. It's a waiting period before something begins to grow, to show results, to uh, bring some money. This is a waiting period. But you are ready, okay? Everything is done. It says nothing else that you're supposed to be doing here. Whatever was up to you, you have done it all together, okay? Now it's just to wait to get some results or so. Your Wednesday. Now, Thursday with Queen of Wands. I love this Queen of Wands. It's a very exciting energy. It's, it's, it's exceptional creator, okay? This is fearless one. <laughs> Fiery energy, very beautiful. Energy of your best friend, okay? This could be your best friend, some Aries person maybe, maybe Leo, maybe Sagittarius, fire sign, okay, out there. Whoever that is, maybe your mother, sister, maybe your boss, but still is coming friendly towards you, doing something for you. This energy is doing things, okay, with excitement, all do it for you, no worries, and everything's fun, and joy, and you see what I'm saying, and it's certain, and it will be done, sort of hip, hip, hooray energy with Queen of Wands, often, but you are solid self, this is your first money received, this is your first independence, this is, you completed something, something on the ground for you, okay, and perhaps ideas about your future, because Queen of Wands often talks about your future, great ideas about future, okay, whether that comes from another one, or it's you, you having your ideas, since you completed something, you got yourself to this safe place, okay, you've got your first money for success, okay, and everything is very solid here, that's your first independence, now from this point, oh, you are planning big time plans for your life, what from here, okay, could also mean something like that on Thursday, um, now this Friday is going to be a bit tough on you, um, this is um, all about past, um, Five of Cups is being drawn into your past or chased by your past, okay? I would say <laughs> chased by your past. You know, when you cannot turn your mind off your past, okay? It's all the time bugging you and bugging you and you're supposed to do it differently in another way and you are regretting something you have done or you haven't done. In that sense, this Five of um, Cups is very present here on Friday. Things are happening for you definitely with Five of Cups. We always point on these two cups standing straight, which is your current situation quite fine. Something is at the very beginning. You are changing something big time in your life. You are ready for this change. Everything which is supposed to be done, you have done already. You've got your plans for your future. It's all good. Nothing wrong, okay? It's only that now on this day, you're kind of regretting something, lots of regrets or sadness that you have about what has happened earlier on. And you will have to put lots of strength, not to like cry or to be depressed or something. Strength energy will help you not to show your weakness on this day, okay? But you will feel weak. Things uh, that happened in the past, some failure from the past, that's your weakness, okay, on this day. But you will be very strong, you know, gonna show it on this day like you're not gonna cry <laughs> or something but you'll be sad on Friday better Saturday okay there's your ace of pentacles 
better future you are seeing for yourself. This is opportunity for you and it's a real deal opportunity. This is very practical energy. This is opportunity for, I don't know, um, for job, for money, for your career, for your business. You see what I'm saying? Very present, these pentacles here, this week for you. Something is a rooting here, okay? Some new beginning rooted for your money, for your business, for your career. You're rooting something this week, okay? Can't and by Saturday, okay, there's opportunity. You are very much aware of it. I think this Saturday will be uh, just energy which will um, help you to bring peace in your mind, okay? Because you were very sad about your past, about what has happened, regretting things, you know, what you've done, what you haven't, doesn't matter. But these new opportunities, these things, as I said, which you are rooting this week, which is your new opportunity, your new life, different life, you will manifest from now on in a different way. If you'll have money now, you'll be happier. So you see what I'm saying? Things will be materially different for you from now on and in a very positive way. And that brings peace of mind, okay? You breathe easier, you feel easier, you are easing up on yourself, okay, on this day. Just because you do have opportunity, it will be better. It won't last. It will be better. And you are moving towards, you know, that kind of um, um, feeling. It will be better easier on your mind. Now the Tower and the uh, Eight of Swords still uh, still stuck with something which is changing, okay? The Tower situation out there says something is changing and big time change is here. But this Tower says it's not gonna be that what you used to have, not anymore, okay? you. Even perhaps you didn't even want it anymore. But this change somehow is, I don't know, keeping you stuck in the moment. You will get over it. Things will change. But right now you're kind of, this is like no man's land. Okay? You were in this transitioning period, stuck in there. It will change, you know, it's breaking down, something will begin to grow. And you're just at the bottom of it, you know, in the middle of these two time frames. This is still breaking down, still present here, something that was, something that you used to. You see what I'm saying? Awareness that is not going to be in your life anymore, but still, but still effects of that breakage, of that ruin of that past is there, okay? Still awareness of it. Um, and you kind of feel stuck in the moment, stuck in this present before this is off, this is out of your life, eight of cups, the tower, something is out of your life and something new began already. You are not leaving this new idea, new future, new life. You're not leaving it yet. You're still on that fence, feeling stuck right now, but it won't last long, definitely. You've got something that you are leaving behind, you are ready for for something new and opportunity is that it will happen if not this week maybe next week maybe first of august but you are in the process this is being in the process of change okay it's not pleasant but um but soon you will be in the better place enjoy it cancer